I was like, yeah, but I feel like if she could cook, she wouldn't have that black eye. <laughs> I mean, I went from, I mean, literally July of last year, I was considering quitting comedy and everything. I couldn't sell any tickets at any comedy club. I figured if we start the show with domestic violence, the rest of the show should be, should be pretty smooth sailing after that. And he's currently on the road with his problematic world tour where he filmed this Netflix, a Netflix special down in D.C. It's a, sometimes my mental health will take such a toll that I could just, I could just jump off of my balcony. And we couldn't get over the fact that we're like, this is the face of the company? Like, this is... This is where you have greeting people? Did anybody think the first person to die tonight wasn't gonna be Roxanne? <laughs> I ate lunch there and the hostess who like seats you at the restaurant had a black eye. Matt Reif ignites backlash over domestic violence joke in Netflix special and mock apology that links to website for special needs helmets. So what's going on in Matt world? Let's see. A career built on rebellion. Matt Reif is under fire for making a joke about domestic violence in his new Netflix special, but he doesn't seem too concerned. This is not the first time Reif has gotten in trouble for his content. In February, he was slammed after making an offensive comment about women's bodies while appearing on the Stiff Socks podcast. Reif later told the New York Times that the backlash from the comment was an insane concept to him since his job was to make people laugh. A comedian whose popularity was sparked by TikTok is now dealing with backlash on social media about a joke. Um, I ate lunch there and the hostess who like seats you at the restaurant had a black eye. A tad bit. It does feel like it came out of nowhere, but then I have to remind myself as much as it feels overnight. Because and he's currently on the road with his problematic world tour where he filmed this Netflix, a Netflix special down in D.C. Because it did happen very fast via yeah. social media. I've been doing comedy for 12 years. It's a, sometimes my mental health will take such a toll that I could just, I could just jump off of my balcony. Comedian Matt Reif doesn't give a F who he offends, despite facing a fierce backlash for doubling down on a domestic violence joke with a quip about disability. Offense is Matt's middle name, and he thrives on controversy. True to his ways, he hasn't disappointed his audiences, but this time he has taken a step too far over the boundaries of what's considered acceptable. Where Matt goes, trouble follows. The latest hue and cry is over a throwback stand-up act with a stolen joke straight from 2006. Literally. On Wednesday, Netflix released the comedy special Matt Reif Natural Selection. The set, which was brimming with antiquated cracks masquerading as offensively edgy jokes, included a misogynistic bit about domestic abuse that swiftly drew criticism on social media. Reif set up the joke by talking about a ratchet restaurant in Baltimore. The special kicks off with a joke about domestic violence. I've only been to Baltimore one time, I ate lunch here, and the hostess who seats you at the restaurant had a black eye, Reif began, a full black eye. It wasn't like what happened, it was pretty obvious what happened, he said in his special, which was filmed in Washington, D.C. We couldn't get over the fact like, this is the face of the company? This is who you have greeting people? Reif then joked that his friend said the restaurant should put her in the kitchen so nobody has to see her face. Reif responded to his friend's comment by saying, I feel like if she could cook, she wouldn't have that black eye. He showed up with flip-flops and she went, uh, never mind. <laughs> Matt Reif's Netflix special starts with a punchline about domestic violence. And my boy who I was with was like, yeah, I feel bad for her, man. I feel like they should put her in the kitchen or something. The point that you're trying to make is you're saying, I can't make jokes about somebody because of how hard their life is. But you, especially toward the end, you sort of make fun of cancel culture and social oh, yeah. media. You have to. But Little to no respect for anybody who wakes up every day and makes the decision to live with a victim's negative mentality. And we couldn't get over the fact that we're like, this is the face of the company? Like, this is... This is where you have greeting people? No, you shouldn't be making jokes about domestic violence in 2023. We're, we're all very aware of this, so let's just, let's just not be doing that. Everybody in here, oh, whatever. Reif tells the crowd the joke was him just testing the waters, seeing if y'all are going to be fun or not. He adds, I figure if we start the show with domestic violence, the rest of the show should be smooth sailing. The joke generated controversy on social media in the days following the streaming debut of Natural Selection, so much so that Reif took to his Instagram story on November 20 to issue a mock apology. Being that the year is currently 2023 and not 1923, 
most people on social media found the quip to be pretty pathetic and incredibly stale. Others questioned why a comedian whose fan base consists mostly of young women would open with this kind of insensitive joke. The way women catapulted Matt Reif into popularity and the second he gets a comedy special on Netflix, he immediately betrays them with a joke about domestic violence crazy in it," one user slammed. The girls and gays were Matt Reif's biggest demographic and he used his Netflix special to pander to toxic masculinity, another chastised, adding, it feels like a betrayal. Comedian Matt Reif responded to criticism that one of his jokes was sexist and disrespectful. All right, I think everyone's back from taking a shit. <laughs> Which is very funny, by the way. But I think to many people, there were two issues. One, that it felt like really stale, warmed over, like 1950s. Some people are going to think this is an insensitive comparison. I think it's a step in the right direction, personally. I think. <laughs> Did anybody think the first person to die tonight wasn't going to be Roxanne? <laughs> Not Matt Reif building his platform on catering to his female audience and then opening his Netflix special with a domestic violence joke, a third person commented. Others were equally displeased with the comedian's lack of sincerity when it came to his response to the backlash. Apology or insult? Matt Reif making a sexist DV joke, then sending people to a website to special needs helmets as his apology, one user posted. There's a difference between an edgy joke and just being disrespectful and distasteful. Oh good, ableism to chase the misogyny, another user spat. So what was wrong with the apology? Reif decided to respond to the hate in an Instagram story on Monday night. The post includes an image of Reif performing on stage with overlaying text that reads, If you've ever been offended by a joke I've told, here's a link to my official apology. Alongside was a link that said, Tap to solve the issue. The link leads viewers to a website that sells special needs helmets to protect against seizures, head trauma, and head banging. People were equally annoyed with this response. If he was upset that people were offended by his jokes, he could have just not said something," TikTok user Samantha Fakit said in a video that received over 5 million views. Reif's apology joke itself was about as fresh as an overused porta potty because it was recycled from his own comedy special. Mocking viewers upset with his domestic violence joke by evoking special needs only added more fuel to the fire. Natural Selection marks Reif's first Netflix comedy special after becoming a viral comedy superstar on social media, thanks to videos posted on TikTok and other platforms. In a recent interview with Variety, Reif spoke about how he wanted natural selection to appeal to both men and women, since his social media videos often cater more to a female audience. One of the biggest misconceptions
Every single TikTok comment is requesting me to do more red flag crowd work. I love every midget I've ever met. I think they're the coolest people in the world. Of course I felt bad for her, man. She should have had her protection crystals. If I say little people, you don't know if it's a midget or a kid or a Filipino. You don't know, okay? I just want to say your problematic world tour, mm. uh, you announced it. And in 48 hours, you sold 600,000 tickets. Despite their similarities, it's unclear if Rafe actually stole this bit from May. But what is clear is that if you don't particularly like tired jokes about fat phobia, sexism, ableism, and lots and lots of dicks, maybe take a hard pass on Rafe's special. So despite the backlash, it seems Matt is determined to keep the stage on fire because that's the way he rolls. That's all we have for you, folks. Join us next time.